But when we are fasting, what we're doing is we're lowering our insulin down. And when we lower insulin down and we add sodium in, now we're helping with brain function and we're helping with hydration. This is key. Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, we are going back to minerals. You guys keep asking about a lot of symptoms that are showing up with fasting that are happening because of mineral depletion. So I wanted to do a whole video on the three most important minerals that you get depleted when you fast. And if you're new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. I am a woman on a mission to get a million people here fasting so that we can overcome chronic disease. There are so many health benefits to fasting. And as you dive into my videos here, hopefully you will find that. So welcome, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. And those of you that share this video out, I just love being on this journey with you. Okay, minerals. This is a big effing deal. I am not joking. I am seeing so many people that come to fasting that are already mineral depleted and then they go into fasting and they make themselves more mineral depleted leading to some mysterious symptoms. So the first thing I want you to know is that minerals are massively important in so many mysterious ways and we are as a culture not talking about this very much. Minerals help our brain, they help muscles, they help with nerve function, they help with energy production from the cells, and did you know that it's not as simple just to drink water for hydration? You need to have minerals to be able to get your cells hydrated. So if you are mineral depleted and you are drinking water and drinking water and drinking water, you're not hydrating yourself. This is how important minerals are. So, what minerals are the most depleted and why are they so depleted? So there are three main minerals. There is potassium, there is magnesium, and there is sodium. Now listen to me for a second. When you guys hear sodium, you all go, what? I thought I was supposed to avoid sodium. I'm gonna point out something really key about sodium at the end of this video, so stick with me. The reason that these three are so depleted is for four specific things going on in our environment. Some of it is unique to you, some of it is going on in on, on our planet. The first, you've heard me talk about this before, our soils are massively depleted in minerals. When we are doing something called monocropping, we are spraying and tilling our soils over and over again until they have no minerals in them. So what's happening, if you are eating vegetables from a non-regenerative agricultural farm, you are getting mineral deficient vegetables. So go to your local farmer, support the people who are doing regenerative agriculture. We also know if you are on more medications, if you drink more alcohol, and if you are doing more sweating like a triathlete or you're a big athlete in general and you're sweating a lot or you guys are doing a lot of sauning, that you're going to be more mineral deficient. So how do you bring these three minerals back in? I wanna go through each one, talk about what they do, what a deficiency would look like, and then we're gonna talk about how to get them back in. So potassium, this one is really interesting. Potassium is your restless legs mineral. So those of you when you fast that you get the twitchy legs, you get that kind of restless feeling in your body, this is because of potassium. Potassium is critical for relaxing muscles. It's also critical to be able to get toxins out of your cells and nutrients in. So if you're doing autophagy fasting longer than 17 hours, you're trying to get toxins out, you need plenty of potassium. How would you know if you're low in potassium? Constipation. How many of you are constipated with fasting? When you're feeling those heart palpitations, that's potassium. We talked about restless legs, fatigue is a big one, muscle weakness, so if you're like going for a run or you're walking around while you're fasting and you're like, oh my God, I feel like my muscles are really fatigued, let's try some potassium and I'll talk in a moment about one of my favorite potassiums. Let's try upping potassium and see if that makes a difference to give you that extra energy boost you need to fast a little longer. The second one is magnesium. Okay, magnesium is for muscle function, it's for also for energy production, it's for brain function, and it's for nerve health. 
So those of you that are, get chronic pain situations when you fast, that might be because you are low in magnesium. I found a really interesting quote from the Mayo Clinic. This has fascinated me and I had to put it on there and repeat it to you guys because this is their words, not mine, that low magnesium levels um, don't necessarily cause symptoms short term, but long term, they can increase your risk of high blood pressure, they can increase your risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and osteoporosis. So if you are not adding in magnesium, there's a good chance, and you have those conditions, there's a good chance that you are going to need to supplement with magnesium and help your body overcome those conditions. Now women, there's a couple caveats for us with magnesium. Women who are pregnant need more magnesium. So women, when they're getting cramps when they're pregnant or, they're, or migraines when they're pregnant, that might be that they need more magnesium. Women with high blood pressure, women with osteoporosis, we talked about that, more magnesium. And if you're getting a lot of mood changes with ma before uh, your cycle, that could be a magnesium deficiency. I, I'll even go on to say that there's a lot of evidence showing that when we crave chocolate the week before our cycle, it's an indication that magnesium is low. Fascinating, right? So in general, both men and women, how do we know if magnesium is low? We get a lot of muscle issues, a lot of nerve pain. So cramping, numbness and tingling in your hands, muscle spasms. But the other key part of magnesium is that if you're low in magnesium, it changes your personality. You have more moodiness. You're gonna have, be more irritable when you fast. So we gotta up the magnesium when we're fasting so we don't start to chop everybody's head off around us as we especially go into these longer fasts. Last one, and then I'm going into what I love and how we create a solution for this. Sodium. Okay, this one baffles everybody. So sodium is really important for hydrating our cells, both inside and out. We also need sodium for muscle and nerve function. When you are low in sodium, you're gonna have muscle fatigue, you're gonna have headaches, you're gonna have confusion. So how many of us have gone into longer fasts and we've had moments where we're like, okay, I'm feeling a little off. That can be too low sodium and you're gonna be more irritable, just like magnesium. So we need that sodium to be high. Here's the clincher. Why would we want to do a pack like Elements giving us of potassium, magnesium, and sodium? This was specifically made for fasters. Why sodium? So many of you guys ask us this. Sodium is only going to raise your blood pressure in the presence of high insulin. If your hemoglobin A1C is high, if you've been, uh, have trouble controlling your insulin, yes, then you add sodium to that and your blood pressure is gonna go up. But when we are fasting, what we're doing is we're lowering our insulin down. And when we lower insulin down and we add sodium in, now we're helping with brain function and we're helping with hydration. This is key. Go listen, I did a, a podcast with Dr. David Jockers where he talks about this concept. Really fascinating. Okay, so what's the solution? So here's my solution. This is how I do it. I put a pack of Element in my water every single day. This is my water. I'm doing this every day, at least one or two of these. I do a fasting lifestyle much like I teach you guys here. So I put a pack in, I make sure every single day I'm getting out some kind of mineral in there. My nails are growing faster, my hair is growing faster. It's really, the evidence is quite powerful. A Lot of changes in my nails, which fascinates me. So you can do this every day, and when you're fasting, you can do it multiple times a day. So they, they've got great flavors. My favorite is grapefruit, FYI. That's my personal favorite. We can also, if you have restless legs, you can turn into something, you can turn to upgraded labs. This is a new type of mineral that we, are, we have been testing. Um, the potassium comes in a dropper form, really great as you're fasting. If you get that kind of edgy, restless leg feeling, just take a dropper full of the upgraded labs. They also have an incredible magnesium. So if you resonate with what I said about magnesium, their magnesium is one of my favorite. If you want a link to this, just put Upgraded Labs in the link and we'll send you a link. If you want a link to Element, this is also put, L, it's spelled L-M-N-T, put it in the, in the comments and we'll send you a link for that. 
The last thing I'll tell you is that on an ongoing basis, if you are not eating from a regenerative farm and you want to start fasting more, highly recommend a daily mineral supplement. Min is the one I love the most. If you want the link to that, just put min in the comments. So here's what's fascinating. You guys are going to see, I would say 95% of you are going to notice some mineral deficiency as you start to fast. So let's get ahead of this because I want you to love fasting. There's so many healing mechanisms, but being mineral deficient is not fun. If you want to learn more about minerals, we brought on Barton Scott. He is the founder of Upgraded Labs. He has a, a, a tremendous amount of knowledge on minerals. So that comes out in the Resetter podcast. So make sure you subscribe to the Resetter podcast and you'll see that episode when, it, when it's released. So. And if you want more information on this, especially how mineral deficiency affects hair loss, there's a great video I did called What Does It Mean When You Lose Hair While Fasting, where I talk about mineral deficiencies. But as always, I want you to fall in love with fasting. If you guys have upped your minerals and you've had a great result with it, by, I've talked about this before, please leave it in the comments so our community can understand how powerful products like this are. But don't give up on fasting, you were born in a miracle. Hope that helps.